I'm very active on social media in terms of politics. In, f in fact, probably a lot of people here know that because sometimes they assume I'm spamming, of course. But my question is that uh, I've been told that uh, I should leave politics to the experts, that I have no credentials at all. I'm not in a position to be commenting on these kinds of issues and that right now at the moment I should focus on I should focus on getting getting it getting somewhere in life meaning that I'm still a high school student so I have I haven't achieved anything yet so uh, in, in addition to that commenting uh, so much on social media we're creating awareness but and uh, me personally I feel like even though I share these news articles these um, events that happen to Syrians or Palestinians or hashtag black lives matter all I'm doing is just mentioning it. All I'm doing is just expressing my feelings. It's, I don't feel like I'm doing anything in the real world about it. So what do you do in, in order to tackle those kinds of uh, conflicts? So I'll say that um, politics is our life. We walk and live and breathe politics every single day. If you're a Muslim and you woke up this morning, you're political because your life is politi politicized. Your religion is politicized. So everybody has an opinion and you should be able to share your opinion and how you're feeling about something that is happening. So don't let anybody tell you that you need credentials. Of course you need credentials to tell me the breakdown of what's happening in Syria and why we're in the situation that you're in. But you do not need credentials to tell the world that what is happening happening in Syria is one of the worst humanitarian crises that is happening and unfolding in your lifetime. There's literally a genocide there. You do not need credentials to tell me that there's a genocide happening in Syria. To the, to the second point, social media is a very important platform to raise awareness, but it does not save lives. It does not, it is only one step, a very small step in us actually participating in activism and fighting against injustice in the streets. So all I'm saying is if you're going to say Black Lives Matter and you hear that there's a rally in support of a young man or woman who have been killed at the hands of law enforcement and you know about it, take yourself and show up there. So the idea here is that if we have opportunities to show up in the places physically, to organize, to help, to provide resources, we need to do that. If you do, a lot of people live in places where there aren't these resources and opportunities available to them, so they use social media as a platform to participate in these discussions and solidarity. But if those, if there's a black student union in your high school or your college campus, if there is a group that's working on dreamers and undocumented people, if there's a group on campus doing an event for Syria or a fundraiser for Palestine or Kashmir or Bangladesh or whatever, don't just say you support Bangladesh and support Palestine. Show up to that event. Oftentimes, the SJPs on the college campus campuses are like four or five people. Show up to their events, support their work, encourage what they're doing, because it is really important for us to show solidarity and support those who are, do who are actually organizing the events. All I'm asking you to do is to show up to those. So let's bring together activism online and activism in the streets. And that's what I try to emulate in the Muslim community is that, yes, I'm a social media, uh, I have a social media platform and profile, but what I really am and what I really care about is the work that I do on the ground, the, the, my feet on the street is more important to me than what is happening on social media or what I do on social media. Social media is just a place for me to share my stories and share my work. It's not just about what my opinions are.